Hey guys, Matt from The Rational Rant, and today's video is going to be about abrupt climate change and one of the mechanisms that makes this such a big issue and such a rapidly growing issue, and that is positive feedback loops. Now if you guys have watched my previous video, the one with Guy McPherson, he proposes that a lot of these feedback loops add up over time and exponentially increase the rate at which global warming occurs and the greenhouse effect and whatnot. It is important to understand these mechanisms because they, they do add up over time. A lot of them are pretty easy to explain, but there are around 60 to 65 big mechanisms that have been identified throughout peer-reviewed climate change uh, papers and a lot of them are, they're, mm, they're pretty shocking. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it. But one of the biggest positive feedback loops that I can identify is the melting of the Arctic and Antarctic sea ice. Now this might seem pretty trivial and pretty obvious, but why this is such a big issue is due to the consequence of this feedback occurring. Now, it is very, very bad because under the sea ice, there are a lot of underwater methane vents that are on the ocean floor. And the ice helps to keep these methane vents from releasing this methane into the atmosphere. Now, obviously, as the temperature of the Earth increases and this ice mass continues to melt, it's going to expose a lot of these vents, allowing the methane to be released into the atmosphere which is obviously going to increase global temperature, which is going to increase the rate of ice melting, and it feeds back into itself. Hence the name positive feedback loop. Or uh, it's a self-reinforcing feedback loop if you want to use a different term. Now that is only one mechanism. Another one is the moistening of the upper troposphere. As the planet gets hotter, there is going to be more water that is going to be evaporated into the atmosphere. And water vapor is a pretty, pretty greenhouse intensive gas. And obviously, since more water is going to be evaporated, the upper troposphere is going to get more moisturized. And as that occurs, it traps in more solar radiation, which is going to further increase the temperature on the surface of the planet. And I, I bet you guys can see how these kind of feed back into each other. Another one is in the Amazon rainforest. Now, as the planet gets hotter, it's going to be less optimal for rainforests to be in the current state that they, that they are, due to them relying on high humidity and high moisture levels in these environments. Now, the Amazon rainforest is referred to as the lungs of the planet, since it's one of the biggest rainforests that exists on this planet. And since the planet is getting drier, the Amazon rainforest has been going through a pretty big drought the last couple years. And droughts are not good due to what they do to the decomposition species that exist in these environments. It ramps up the rate of decomposition, which means greenhouse gases such as CO2 and methane get released in increased numbers than if a drought wasn't occurring. So you can see how that feeds back into itself as well. Obviously, more methane, more CO2 increases temperature further, which is going to exacerbate the drought. So that right there is three feedback mechanisms that are pretty big. They're the ones that are the easiest to explain right off the bat. Uh, I encourage you guys to definitely do some more research into these feedback loops. There are hundreds of papers out on these different feedback loops, uh, if you could just do some searches on the internet. And there really is a lot to learn. I'm going to be linking some more videos of Guy McPherson's in the description, and I encourage you guys to check him out. I mean, he lists more than I do, but it's pretty intensive to go through all 65 of them uh, in one sitting. It's, it's a lot of information to try and absorb. But it's better to be informed, better to know how these mechanisms work, so that other people can hopefully learn from you about these mechanisms. So thank you very much for watching, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and remember, stay rational.